I'm Ron Rice, General Manager with Hunter Douglas in Atlanta, where we manufacture metal ceilings for North America. The amazing part of big projects, in a case like Phoenix Airport, it was not only the structure, but it was spontaneous, creative work with an owner and the general contractor and the architect, the subcontractor, and the vendors. Working with an existing terminal that was built in the early 70s, we had a lot of challenges. Hunter Douglas and their team was able to manufacture and design a system to fit within the existing conditions. We had areas of 700 baffles floating with a quarter inch reveal that from the first baffle to the last baffle, the tolerance is almost zero. The ability to be able to look at the shop drawings and have the confidence of knowing the product and every time it always seemed to always hit right on mark, which again, really made our job rather simple. They wanted a concept of a barrel ceiling and it was gonna be floating, following the contours of the exterior glass. We were about 40% into the second train station when they discovered they had some utilities and they didn't have a way to provide an area for them. So they designed a utility track system. Now, working with the curved radius grid system, this actually allowed us to go back, cut it precisely and accommodate what they were looking for. We have six, seven, eight different radiuses four different layouts it's to an actual extreme radius at the skylights and at the same time all these systems float the coordination with all the other trades this material being engineered and manufactured two size again we have a flat panel that appears to be rolled because it, it's, it's a torsion panel again so now i look at it and i see it it really turned out the uniqueness of all the different radiuses and all the different bays 